Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Exit Automation. And today we'll be talking about the Specflow Gherkin Editor. This is an all new tool introduced by Specflow team to help community write better Specflow codes and scenarios instead of using any IDEs like VS Code or Visual Studio, for example. Using this Specflow Gherkin's editor, the free editor, you could write Specflow scenarios online, which is the super cool thing about this particular Gherkin editor itself. So if I go to this get started, I have already signed up with this Specflow Gherkin editor. So if I click this get started, you will see that it's going to directly take me to all the feature files that I have got. So you can create a feature file from here using this create file button, or you can see all the feature files which are going to be listed for you that you have already created. And you'll also notice some of the things that you can see is like when I have last modified this feature file and modified by whom, and what access this feature file is given to, which means it is like can view and edit, like just only me. But if I'm gonna share this feature file to somebody, then it is gonna be available for edit for other persons like that. So you can have those options available over here as well. And you can see this option like shared with me. This helps you tell that who has shared a feature files to me, like for review purpose, or if we are collaborating with the team, then all the people can collaborate the feature files, write the feature files and share among the team so that all the shared feature files are going to be sitting over here. And I can share some feature files to the other people and they will see those feature files that I have over here as well, which is the cool thing about this sharing this feature file, because that's the whole intention of having a spec flow feature files to be written so that all the BA developers and testers can be on the same page. That's the power of Specflow. And this Specflow editor is actually making that happen much, much easier using the online editor. So let's see how my existing feature file is gonna look like, something like this. So you can see that some of the keywords in this editor is already highlighted. Like feature keyword is already highlighted. Scenario outline, given and then something like that. And also the table is being aligned over here like for the username and password something like this which is cool and we can also create a new feature file as i told you so once you hit this create new you will see that this particular feature name is going to automatically comes in so let's say if i want to create a feature called as login feature so you will see that once i do that it's going to automatically name that feature for me and then i'm going to say login feature for testing something like this and then if I want to write a background, you will see that once I put this B, it's automatically bringing the IntelliSense for me, like background over here. So I can write the background here. So I can just say, given I logged into application, something like that, that's my background. And then if I want to write a scenario then you can see that it's going to show me the scenario scenario outline scenario template and all those things which is cool so i'm going to say first scenario for automation something like this and then i can say given i navigate to login and i enter login details something like this and then i can just put this username and you can see that automatically those intendations are happening for me here. I mean, I'm not doing anything over there. It's just happening for me automatically, which is quite cool. So I can do that. And then if I wanted to say, and I click login, something like this. So you will see that I have written a scenario much, much easily with very clean looking scenarios. And as you all know that Specflow's step definitions glue are going to be automatically generated by the specflows custom auto generators so those things we don't even have to worry about so once we have written this particular feature files we can then save this and we can then export this like we can even share to any one of the members like this or you can share to uh, the people you wanted to like you can share this to anyone with this particular link so you can see that anyone who have access to this particular spec flows link can able to access this for example you can see that this is a shareable link i'm going to the incognito page and within over here you can see that it is 
getting inside this Gherkin editor and it is showing me this particular feature file. So this is now available to anybody who has access to this particular link, which is cool. Uh, and other thing is we can also download this particular feature file and we can then start writing the step definitions within our Visual Studio code or Visual Studio 2022, something like that. So if I wanted to see how this feature file is going to look like, if I just open the file, you can see that it is opening in my Visual Studio 2022 and you can see that this feature file is automatically going to come up for me, which is cool. And now I can start writing the step definitions and start implementing. So all these things are going to happen for me after I'm done with that. I think the background, I just missed this column. There we go. So it looks good. So this is how we can start using our Specflow Hurricane Editor and write the scenarios and share among the team so that everybody will be in the same page. And there are more exciting stuffs going to be coming up within the Specflow Hurricane Editor. But for now, this is just a start and this is looking pretty good and cool. Apart from that, you also can see that there is this feature feedback hub going to show us that we are building an assistant to help you write the better Gherkin. I think that's going to be awesome. So once it is there, more number of features are going to be coming up for this editor pretty soon. So that's it, guys. This is about the Specflow Gherkin editor. Hope you like it. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.